hello everyone thanks for tuning in once again okay this has to be my last live for today because i am so tired or not live but last video for today because i am so tired okay any more information comes out about diddy and you all are going to have to get it in the morning okay please pay attention uh, so with that all being said i forgot to give you all this information earlier um actually my moderator desmond sent me this report and i forgot all about it because i have so many receipts okay so diddy's sons justin and king combs uh, they basically were released and let go because remember they were detained and then they were let go, uh, but they were spotted uh, returning to the L.A. mansion, gathering their things and then getting the H.F. out of there. OK, please pay attention. And so let me just put up some of these uh, pictures where they were captured returning. OK, and so Justin got there first at about 1030 p.m. local time. And then so uh, he basically came and he was seen leaving. That's him returning. You can see he's trying to cover his face with his hoodie. Uh, but clearly we know it's him. And uh, so he went in there and quickly gathered his things, got his bags and boxes and got up out of there. And then King came along about three hours later, a few hours later, and he did the same thing. He got his bags packed and got up out of there. Okay, so they literally fled. All right, so... Uh, and then also, this is what I thought was interesting. And so armed guards were stationed outside of Diddy's Miami mansion complex on today. And uh, basically, investigators were swarming, you know, the neighborhood, uh, the neighboring properties that Diddy owns on Swiss Star Islands on Monday. And so uh, wrenching open an ornate metal gate to get inside. Now, a section of copper lattice work was ripped away from the 15 foot high doors, uh, they were left so buckled that they couldn't be closed afterwards. Now, investigators had left the scene by today, uh, by Tuesday morning. So basically, uh, they're now saying that there were private guards in blacked out SUVs that blocked the driveway to stop anyone from accessing the houses worth $82 million combined. Now, they say the two guards dressed, dressed head to toe in black wearing black surgical mask, refused to tell whether Diddy was inside. One of them, when asked, says, I don't know anything about that. And then the second one growled at reporters and warned them not to step foot on Diddy's property. Okay, please pay attention. Uh, so anyway, I find it also interesting. Now, uh, the other thing is Diddy and that Jet, well, they're both ghosts. All right. They're both gone. Like they're off the radar. So let's get into it and see. This is why I told y'all earlier. I said, you know, they should have taken Diddy's passport. I mean, what did they do? Give him a get out of jail free card? Because that's what it's starting to look like. OK, that's what it's starting to look like as far as I'm concerned. So listen to this. Now, this came out a few hours ago. Diddy and his private jet have vanished, shrouded in mystery as both have vanished following the raid of the rapper's homes. And so basically, according to a statement from flightaware.com, uh, they say that there's no more online information available about his private jet. You know how they were tracking it yesterday. TMZ was tracking it. But now they're saying there's no online data available. And uh, basically that this is per the request of the owner or operator. And they don't know where Diddy is. Now, some people speculated that he was in the Caribbean, uh, but it's been confirmed that he's not in Antigua. Hold on. Give me just a second to pull this up. Okay, so uh, uh, they say the rapper's private jet, a Love Air USA LLC owned, uh, owned Gulfstream G550 with a distinctive all black paint job has suspiciously vanished from public traffic trafficking. Uh, I'm sorry, tracking sites. OK, uh, flightaware.com. And so they say Diddy was about to board a different private plane in Miami. The final track flight by the Love Air jet with tail number in 1969C, a show that flying from Los Angeles on Monday morning to Antigua, uh, where it touched down that afternoon. And they, you know, still don't know who was on board. So I find it all interesting because a flight aware spokeswoman, Kathleen Baines, told Miami Herald that it's not unusual for owners to request the, that their flight, that their flight information be blocked from the site. 
She said it's not uncommon. She said it was unknown whether Love Air LLC requested the information to be removed from the site, but FlightAware honors the request submitted through the FAA's uh, privacy application process. So basically, Diddy has likely told them to take it off the radar, okay? So no one can track where he's going. At the end of the day, I just feel like they've let Diddy just get out of here as scot-free, okay? That's just my opinion. Now, with that all been said, I found it interesting that the armed guards, you know, were out there uh, acting so serious about the whole thing. And uh, another thing I thought was interesting is the alleged mule of Diddy, okay, Mr. Brendan Paul. Well, yeah, he used to play for Syracuse, okay, for two years uh, from 2018 to 2020. And uh, in about 17 games, he had long minutes in about 17 games. Then he transferred uh, to University of Fairmont, I do believe it was, and uh, that's in West Virginia. And so he played there. And they also say that he was really good in high school. He act And of course, he would have to be good in high school to play in college, right? But he actually played at uh, Brewster's High School, I think it was. And it's like a prep school. And he actually played with Jim Boheim's son, Buddy, and then led the, the team uh, to the National Prep Championships, okay? The National Prep School Championships. Uh, so with that all being said, please pay attention. This guy clearly came from privilege, went to a prep school and all of that, and was into college and everything. So I said all that to say this. If y'all don't think that right about now, Mr. Paul is singing like the Mississippi Mass Choir, yeah, please think again, okay? Please think again. I'm pretty sure he is telling any and everything that he knows, okay? And I just find it all interesting that at the end of the day, they don't know Diddy's whereabouts. Like he was right in their grasp. And so as far as I'm concerned, they just let Diddy go. Okay, they just let him go. Because mind you, neither Diddy nor his sons, none of them were ever arrested. Okay, I know some people were lying and saying that Dustin and uh, or Justin and King were arrested, but they were never arrested. They were just detained. And there's a difference. And then so afterwards, like I said, they went and got their belongings, packed bags and boxes and got the HF out of there. Now, also, Mark Curry, former bad boy artist, uh, he came out and had some things to say about Diddy being raided. Uh, so let me just pull this video up. Make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you in advance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all knew I was going to have to go live. I was at work, couldn't even finish work. I'm sitting at work. Look, hard work. I have to work hard every day. Nothing comes to me easy. I've been doing this ever since I left Bad Boy. And I've been doing it on my own. I've been doing it on my own, working hard every day, getting up, busting my butt. You know what I'm saying? And I do it. I do it. Look, now I'm sure y'all know and they done raided the man house. They over at P. Diddy house, man. Raiding the house. Not saying I wanted this kind of stuff to happen, but should have known one day. Mama should have told him one day it was going to be a day like this, man. That you cannot keep doing what you're doing the way he was doing it, man. It was destined to happen pretty soon. But wow. They got everybody all out on the yard and everything. All in that big old house. They said it's going to take them an hour to clear the house out because there's so many rooms that they're gonna have to go through there and clear everybody out. They're gonna have to go through every room. So, wow. Homeland Security. Y'all just stay posted. When I get off tonight, I'm going back live again tonight. We're gonna talk about it a little bit more, but look, y'all all chime in right now. Homeland Security, they're in the man's house. They're doing what they have to do. Oh Lord, is this gonna be it for the brother? Oh, oh, R. Kelly. They started off with R. Kelly like this. <sighs> Y'all pray for your boy, Pete Diddy, man. You know, pray for him. I'm going to pray for him, too. I hope. I hope. I hope he'll be all right. All right? I'll see y'all later on.
No, what I find so interesting about what Mark Curry said, uh, basically he said, pray for Diddy and he's going to pray for him. Now, mind you, this is the same man that told us all uh, that they would, that Diddy would have them put things in the bottles when they were in the clubs. And then they will put pills in the girls' mouths like they were birds. Isn't he the one that said that? Okay. So basically putting illegal substances in people's drinks so that they wouldn't be in their right frames of mind, uh, so that they could be as assaulted. Please pay attention, but we're supposed to pray for Diddy. He's going to pray for Diddy. You see, this is why I said previously, uh, people like him who knew these things were going on and they didn't say anything at the time and now they want to start spilling the beans. Well, I'm glad they're spilling it just so that we have the information. But at the end of the day, I don't respect them because you sat right there and you saw these things going on and you knew what was going on. You didn't do anything about it. You didn't stop it. You didn't try to warn anyone or any of those things. And even if you didn't want to be, you know, didn't want to call the police, at the very least, they could have spoken to the victims, okay, and prevented them from being victimized, but no. And then remember how he tried to pretend that he didn't know that he was doing anything wrong. I didn't know that was, you know, I didn't know that was illegal. I didn't know that was wrong. He said something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. But also the same goes for Gene Deal. Gene Deal was on an interview the other day and he was basically going in on Usher because he said Usher gave praises to Diddy after what Diddy did to him. Well, here's the thing. Usher was a teenager. Okay. He was like 13 when he went to stay, to, stay with Diddy at Diddy Flavor Camp. And so if you knew that this is a child and Diddy is taking advantage of him and you didn't say anything, how dare you talk greasy about Usher as if he's to blame? Okay, I just find it all interesting at the end of the day. They're no better than Diddy is, is all I'm saying. And that's my opinion. Now, with that all being said, another thing that I thought was interesting was, you know, I had been reporting heavily on the whole Nickelodeon scandal. And those of you who watched this morning, if you missed that broadcast, please go back and watch. And also the second one that I did uh, this afternoon. But on the morning broadcast, I told you guys that the reason this stuff is happening right now, being exposed about Diddy right now, I mean, the raid and all that stuff being conducted, as far as I'm concerned, is likely because of all the stuff that happened with the Nickelodeon scandal last week. When everyone was talking about that, that was the talk of the town. All of the content creators were reporting on that, most of us at least. Uh, so with that all being said, just to get us off of, you know, that whole story, let's put Diddy out here. OK, so I think that's what this all was. Like I told you this morning, they did the same thing when it came down to Harvey Weinstein when he was brought out and exposed. And I showed you the receipts this morning. I showed you the timeline from Harvey Weinstein and the timeline of R. Kelly. Okay, at the end of the day, they knew R. Kelly was doing this stuff years ago, back in the 90s. But at the end of the day, they didn't say anything, do anything about it until that whole thing with Harvey Weinstein came out. All right. And then now let's put somebody who looks like me in the forefront of it. Okay, so please pay attention. Uh, but what I thought was interesting was the fact that with all the stuff that I talked about with Nickelodeon, and I also did an update about that today on the backup channel. Okay, so if you missed it, you can go to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show and catch it on there. But Diddy was actually on an episode of Nickelodeon. I find that all interesting because now uh, that makes me think that he was dealing with those maybe working in collusion, okay, unison with those nefarious people. Okay, please pay attention. And here's the clip. P. Diddy. Oh, what would P. Diddy do? No, I don't know. Hey, what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> P. Diddy? What's up? We can't wake up Shane. Try symbols? Yep. <laughs> what about sour milk? It didn't work. Tell you what, take this toy helicopter, put it down his pants. All right, we'll do it. We'll do. Now I find that very interesting. Okay, they said they couldn't wake him up, and then he said, "Did you try symbols? Did you try sour milk?" And none of that worked. And he said, "Take this toy helicopter and put it down his pants." Okay, more of the same subliminals, all right? And uh, more of the provocateur things that they were, or the provocative things that they were doing in the broadcast I showed you all last week. Okay, yeah, suggestive things, shall I say. 
Uh, so yeah, I find it very interesting that Diddy was actually on an episode of Nickelodeon. Okay, y'all, I almost forgot to tell you all this. Actually, I did forget, but I just thought about it before I was completely done. So Diddy's attorneys actually blasted uh, the federal authorities uh, saying that they used excessive military level force. OK, while they were raiding the rappers, Florida and California homes on Monday, uh, saying the hip hop mogul is being investigated for these SEX traffickings, uh, according to law enforcement sources. And these allegations uh, with his attorney, Aaron Dyer, well, they blasted the allegations as a witch hunt. Uh, saying yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. And that's what Mr. Dyer said. OK, and then uh, saying there's no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way that his children and employees were treated. Well, I find it interesting because at the end of the day, Diddy should have been more concerned about his own children uh, than the attorney. OK, then his attorneys at the end of the day, he's the one that left him there holding the bag. I mean, he was at the Miami airport on a private jet. So why weren't his sons with him? OK, that's what I'd like to know. Uh, but so anyway, it goes on to say Diddy's sons, Justin and King, uh, King Combs, were briefly cuffed and detained after being removed from the L.A. house, uh, but were not arrested and are not thought to be part of the federal investigation. Now, they say authorities targeted 54-year-old Diddy's two residences in the Los Angeles in Los Angeles and in Miami to seize his phones and computers, which I told you all this yesterday. They want everything, USB flash drives and all of that, okay? They want everything. And, and remember, like I told you, in Rodney Jones' initial filing, it basically said that he can't get rid of any of that stuff. No electronic information, no emails. You know, none of the recordings or anything that he had, he couldn't get rid of any of that stuff. They had a whole slew of stuff, even couldn't get rid of anything that was written on paper. Uh, so, yeah, I find it all interesting. Now, they say uh, Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, was not arrested or charged, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities, according to his attorney. His travel has not been restricted in any way, they added. Well, I know it hasn't been restricted. And that's why I'm telling you all, what are they trying to do? Give him a get out of jail free card? Because his passport absolutely should have been confiscated, in my opinion. OK, in my opinion, because where is he? And Diddy is vehemently denying all of this. But of course, that's what he's going to do. Who wouldn't? I just find it all interesting. Uh, so I just want to give you all that information because, like I said, I almost forgot about that receipt. Um, and so, you know, I hope you all enjoyed this information. Please like and share the video, beloved. And I will talk to you all again soon. Until next time, enjoy the rest of this day or this evening. Each one, teach one. That's how we grow and thrive. Do something productive, constructive, but never destructive. And always remember to keep the most high first in your lives. Peace.